Today I'm gonna to show you 22 tips and tricks in Lumo Fusion that you can use in 2022. Let's go. Okay, first tip, resize UI. Okay, resize UI, okay, to make your screen bigger. That's number one tip, okay. Before the 2020, last year, there wasn't this function. Now, you have a resizable user interface. And that is your number one tip for now. Use it to your advantage. Make, make your timeline bigger, make the source file bigger. It's up to you. But that is number one. Okay, number two, not many people know about this one, is the help button, okay? If you tap and hold, okay, Doom of Fusion will show up what is all these button does, okay? Press and hold, okay? Now, if some people use the Apple Pen, they can't use touch and hold, okay? They just tap on it and will open the settings, okay? And that's why they don't really know this thing as this. Okay, so use your touch, tap and hold, and we'll show you all this all this button things. And if you go to it any any clip, the top button as well is up here. Okay, press and hold the question mark, the help button, and all these clip names come up. Helpful, right? Okay, that's number two. Number three, you can change your color of your clips here to make it easier for yourself to navigate the source file. Okay. For me personally, I will use the the A row. I use aqua. Okay. The B row, I use purple. You can color code your clips to make it easier for yourself when you navigate. Okay. So if you drag it on. Okay, the clip right here, right? Luma Fusion will indicate on the timeline the, the actual color of the clips. So you know, like hey, aqua color is A roll, purple is B roll, and if you have sound effects or any effects that you want to put in, you can change different color. But for me, mainly A and B roll. That's the main thing. And it's easy for you to navigate to the, the, the clip that you want faster. Faster editing in 2022, right? Now, another you know, user interface navigation is the layout button here, at the bottom here. You can change this to a different layout to suit your needs, okay? But for me, Depends what you want to use, go with the vertical. Okay, so you can change to whatever you want. Okay, to make myself bigger. Usually I use this to make the vertical more timeline to play with. Okay, let me go back to landscape because I might want to use this as well to show you guys. Okay, so the layout button is number four. Now to make yourself more room, toggle, mixer, okay, like that the mixer and header, so you have more room to play with in your timeline. Okay, in, in turn it to vertical. Okay. Not much space, right? Top with L. There you go. Then you have a big blank screen on your timeline to play with. Okay, and that's number five. Number six is double tap to go on full screen. Okay, so right now you have the source file. Tap all you want. Let's go here, here, right? In there, okay. Now double tap. It goes full screen. Okay, double tap on the source view viewfinder. Okay, and go on to full screen like this. Okay, and that's number six tip. Go full screen is to edit where you want. Number seven is swiping up and down to make an in point and an out point. For example, right now I have a clip here, right? Play. Okay, to make an in point, swipe down, boom, okay, then play. Okay, to make an out point, swipe up, boom. 
Okay, swipe, press swipe down to my in point, swipe up to my out point. And that's number seven. Number eight. Okay, number eight is you can swipe forward and backward using your finger, one, one finger, okay? So swipe backward, go backward. Go forward, swipe forward. But it doesn't happen that I would like that straight away. What you have to do is go to your settings and change with your preference, reverse frame step gestures. Okay, so, and, and that will take you to when you swipe left, you go left. When you swipe right, you go right. Okay, number nine is two fingers. Okay, two fingers to swipe. And will take you to your next clip on your source file. Okay, source viewer. Okay, two finger. Okay, whatever I swipe. Okay, let's move forward or backward. Swipe forward to move to the next clip. Go backward to go to the clip that you want. This is very helpful if you want to quickly using full full screen to go from clip one clip to another. Okay, so two fingers, my in in point, my out point, very fast. So, so that is two fingers, swipe forward, swipe backward. Okay, now there's another way you can delete your clip from your timeline without going through the delete button. The way you do that is, make sure you select it first, then you swipe it off. Okay, let me show you. Clip here, swipe. Okay, and it's gone. Okay, now do another one. Okay, swipe it off. Boom, gone. Double tap to zoom in and double, double tap to zoom out. Okay, example, zoom in, so we go in like that. Take more clip, okay. Double tap on the timeline. If we zoom in, zoom out. Okay. Triple taps. Okay, will take you to the frame by frame zooming. Okay. Triple tap. Okay. It will take you all the way to the frame. Okay. So triple tap. Double tap to get out. Triple tap to get all the way in to your timeline. Okay, so all, all you do, all your precise editing and the way you know you are in frame by frame is this big white vertical line on your timeline right there. You know that yeah, you are in frame by frame timeline. Okay, another tip is using the copy and paste. Make sure you select the clip that you want, okay? Then go down here, copy. Okay, and you go somewhere, move the right hand somewhere else, and you tap it and you paste. And with that, you can copy and paste anything paste the clip, paste the effects, or the transition, doesn't matter. Use that to your advantage. Copy and paste. The next tip is using the multi select tool. Go here, select one first, then go down here where the question mark is, tap on that, then you are turned on the multi-select tools. The way I want to select thing this one is, I go to I select the first clip on the timeline, the bottom layer, and I go to the plus clip, there you go. And there's a white highlighter around the, the clips, all the, all the clips has a white box around it, okay? And you know that you have select multiple clips. Okay, you can move around, okay, whatever you want. Okay, anywhere you want. And that's how you select multiple clips. Okay, the next tip is all about preset, okay? How do you make your, set, make your editing faster? Is to make a preset. This one, the first one I want to go through is the title preset. Okay, so you have your title here, just Happy New Year. Okay, just example. Now, you can animate it, maybe whatever you want. Something like that, something quick like that. 
What you want to do is to make a preset is go here. Okay, the slide and the plus sign. Tap on that, and you want to make a preset for title. Title. Zoom. Okay, and you press the plus sign again, and you have made your a zoom transition. Okay. Now let's play. So you have a zoom there. Now, next time you want to put another project that you have, go to your preset, okay, title, select another, another title, this one, go to your frame and fit, go to the star, make sure you title your preset clearly so you can look for it, okay, title zoom, there you go, now I have a preset of a zoom effect. So that's quickly, I can go through, instead of going through and do the, the animation again, I just quickly press on that and that's create a preset. Another preset that I like to do is the lower turn, okay? Similar process, right now, do your animation, then click on your preset, okay? I have a preset made over here, okay? One tap and you have your preset done okay and you play around with different file preset yeah the imagination is up to you but that's how quickly you can create a preset the next trick is still about preset as well but for your EQ if you want to learn about EQ I have a video playlist and you know about everything about EQ but for this I have made a preset so it is for vocal your own voice okay go to your audio right here and when you do your finish your equalizer then you can tap on the plus sign again and play your own preset test uh, pre set test okay so every time you want you don't have to create your own another another preset for yourself so right now I have fabulous and preset test okay up to you but that's how you apply your preset Another tip that I like to do with my talking head is I apply the preset before I do the, the cutting. I know that is the main track, okay? The main track, audio track, and I apply the full preset to that whole track, and then I do my own editing. And all the, edit, the cut clips have all the EQ with my voice. You can apply the audio, EQ on the track okay so you have to do this trick but that's another tip for you this one is very uh, fun to do as well so what happens if you want to replace a clip okay the way you do it is select the clip that you want to replace with so this is the clip I want to replace with okay then I go to my source file I'll probably try this okay we replace this with another title. Okay, another title. Red one here. Okay, drag it on the title. Boom! It will re replace it, and it will replace the the animation as well. Okay, so brand new clip, and it's also replacing the animation. Let me undo it and I'll show you. Okay, the animation before is there, right? Redo and the animation is still there. A zoom. I'm lost track of how many tips I've been giving you, okay? So I'll do my edit and slowly build it up, okay? This tip is I've just learned as well. You, you have like your text here, right? Is there a way that you don't have to go to your edit clip and still do your text editing? The answer is yes. Okay, let me copy it. Okay, there. Okay, you go to your eye here. Okay. Intro. Expand out the intro. Change it to now. And it's in now 
subscribe now okay that's how you eat now the tip that you didn't know is this but it's there go to your eye info now if you are an apple user you probably have your mac okay your iphone your ipad okay the thing is to make editing faster you have all your text right and in your document okay your text documents you can copy all your text from your mac then you can actually do your paste okay in your ipad that's right yeah you can actually copy from your mac then you paste it on your phone or on your ipad i don't i haven't tried it yet but i've seen it works okay so trust me on that another tip is you can airdrop between different devices okay since Luma fusion with one purchase one off purchase you can use on multiple device so you have your your iphone your ipad and you can share file between them with airdrop okay so i go to movie you can airdrop your file to whatever you want whatever format to your phone to not different ipad so that's how quickly you can save time by airdropping things over but nowadays i use this <laughs> so it's game changer also connecting the hdmi cable to your ipad now you are have a monitor in front of you a big monitor in front of you and that's not a tip you can use your big monitor as a teleprompter okay how do i do this let me show you okay right now i have a clip right nothing happening okay but i can do the animation okay let's play okay double tap on it to make it go big full screen so you to use as a to use this as a a uh, teleprompter so you have like that right go full screen and you have your big monitor teleprompter right in front of you if you are a shy person and don't want to be in front of, of the camera you can use luma fusion all your scripts using the hdmi cable connected to your monitor and put it in front of close to your camera and use that look straight into the lens and that is your teleprompter my name is Trevor Chow. I hope those tips I forgot how many I gave you but I, I say this 22 tips for now but I'm pretty sure it's more than 22 okay for you to enjoy try and test it out all those tips and you say hey it did help me with editing faster leave me a comment come after if you think that I gave you the tip that are useful for you please consider subscribing to my channel so we can share more tips like this with each other okay i'll see you next time with another video bye